Brock. There was a time when Brexit meant Brexit. These days it seems to mean chaos. This grand plan to demonstrate that the UK has been Gulliver, imprisoned in Lilliput for the last 46 years, has fallen apart and is broken. And to deal with that, Buroch, we have a government so dysfunctional, so bereft of talent and so lacking in trust, the Prime Minister has given up trying to appoint ministers. Its only saving grace is it's opposed by an official loyal opposition that seems incapable of doing anything that might actually help and seems completely at odds with itself. Yeah. Yeah. Today we have a Prime Minister who thinks no will turn to yes if you only just ask half of the question, served by a Cabinet that includes one Minister who thought it appropriate to tell a journalist, I'm past caring, it's like the living dead in here. Yeah. Now I suspect that might have been the Prime Minister herself, <laughs> but it is an insult to the living dead. Brilliant. Worse is to come though if she ever manages to muster enough support to resign to be replaced by a more vicious version of the Bullingdon Club. Yeah. Something worse than the current government is lying in wait and could be about to be ushered into office by some useful idiots in the Labour Party who have stood in this chamber and preached about principle, about how damaging this deal is. Now they pretend to have found some substantive change which makes it the best possible deal of all possible worlds. They stand on the wrong side of history and on the wrong side of the interests of the people they were paid to represent. Now, I represent a constituency opposed to Brexit, and I am proud to say that I agree with my constituency. We want to keep our links with the EU because we understand the benefits of that, and especially the benefits of freedom of movement. Ten per cent of the population of Edinburgh, North and Leith are non-UK citizens of the EU, more than twice the UK average. We also have higher numbers than average from elsewhere in Europe and from elsewhere in the world. We also have a higher number of immigrants from England than the Scottish average. Every one of them is welcome. We understand the benefits of immigration and the cultural and economic value that immigrants bring. We understand just how damaging Brexit would be, particularly a chaotic Brexit. This deal, this pile of manure we are being offered as an appetizer for the slurry to come would do harm to my constituents. It is offered by a Prime Minister who has run out of road and who has no other ideas. That is no basis on which to recommend anything to anyone, far less a future to our countries. It is time to go back to the people and say this is what Brexit actually is. Would you like to go through with this or would you rather revoke Article 50? have a choice with at least some idea of what the choice actually is. Yeah.